Hey everyone, today we are going to be finding the volume of a cone. So remember a cone has a circular base that tapers to a point and the height connects that circular base to the tip. And we are going to be dealing with finding the area of the base again, which is a circle. And remember the area of a circle is pi r squared. So here is our volume of a cone's formula. It is V equals one third BH, where capital B is the area of the base. So here's the formula broken down a little bit more. V is the volume, B is the area of the base, and H is the height. And remember, the height connects the base to the tip. So this capital B, we will have to calculate it and replace it with whatever pi r squared is. Okay, so here's just a reminder of the base and the height of the cone. The base is the circle and then the height connects the base to the tip right here. Okay, so to find the volume of a cone, we are going to multiply one third times the area of the base, which is pi r squared, times the height. So we'll have one thing to calculate first, pi r squared, the capital B area of the base, and then we will multiply it by one third and the height. So let's try that with number one through three. We're gonna find the volume of the cones and then round to the nearest hundredth if we need to. So I'm gonna start by writing down my formula. V equals one third area of the base times the height. And I'm gonna need capital B area of the base and the height. So here's my base, the circle, and my height is 10. And then I have my radius of 2.5. So I'm gonna start by finding the capital B area of the base by doing pi r squared. So I'm gonna do 3.14 times the radius of 2.5 squared. So 3.14 times 2.5 squared is 19.625. And then the height is 10. And now I'm gonna plug into the formula. My base is 19.65 and the height is 10. So into the calculator, I will put one third times the area of the base, which is 19.625 times my height of 10. So one third times 19.625 times 10 is 65.42 centimeters squared. Okay, let's find the volume of this cone. I will use the same formula, one third BH. So I'll need the area of the base and the height of the cone. So here is my circular base. They give me the diameter of seven. I will divide it by two to find the radius. So seven divided by two is 3.5. Okay, and then they give me the height of 12. So I have my height, I just need to find the area of the base by doing pi r squared. So I'm gonna do 3.14 times the radius, which was 3.5 squared. And 3.14 times 3.5 squared is 38. 0.47. So I have the area of the base. I have the height. Now I can find my form or the volume of the cone by plugging into V equals one third BH. It'll be one third times 38.47 times the height of 12. So one third times 38.47 times 12 is 153.88 feet cubed. Okay, number three, 
going to use my volume of a cone formula, V equals one third BH. I'll find the area of the ba base and the height, and then I can find the volume of the cylinder. So here is my circular base, and then that makes the height of the cone 8.5. And they gave me the diameter the whole way across, so I'll divide it by two to find the radius, and the radius is seven. So I'm gonna do a pi r squared to find the area of the base. So it'll be 3.14 times seven squared to find the area of the base. And 3.14 times seven squared is 153.86. So now I have everything I need to find the volume of this cone. I have area of the base and I have the height and now I can find it by just substituting in. So the volume of the cone will be one third times area of the base, which is 153.86 times the height, which is 8.5. And one third times 153.86 times 8.5 is 435.94 millimeters cubed. Okay, now we are going to find the volume in terms of pi. So remember that means that I multiply everything in except for 3.14, I will leave that as the pi symbol. So it's gonna be the same thing. I'm gonna start out with my formula. V equals one third BH. We're gonna start by finding B, area of the base, and the height of the cone. So my base here is the circle, and this time they actually give me the radius instead of the diameter, and my height is nine. So I need to find area of that circular base by doing pi r squared. So I'm gonna do, remember it's in terms of pi, so I'm just gonna leave the pi symbol, and then I'm gonna do my radius 3.1 squared. And now in the calculator, I'm just gonna put the radius squared, and then I'll stick a pi symbol behind it. So 3.1 squared is 9.61, so the area of the base is 9.61 pi. And now I'm ready to find the volume. I have the area of the base, 9.61 pi, and I have the height of the cone, which is nine. So the volume will be one third times the area of the base, which is 9.61 pi times nine, the height. Okay, now I'm going to multiply all the numbers together except for pi, and then for my final answer, I will just stick the pi at the end. So I'm gonna do one third times 9.61 times nine, and I get 28.83 pi. inches cubed. Okay, one more in terms of pi. So I'm still gonna use the same formula, one third BH, I will need B, area of the base, and H, the height. So here is my base, the diameter is 11, I need to divide it by two to find the radius. So the radius is 5.5, and then my height is 21. So I have my height, it's 21. Now I'm going to find the area of that circular base by doing pi r squared, and it is in terms of pi, so I'm just going to leave the pi symbol in instead of multiplying in 3.14. So I'm gonna do pi times 5.5 squared. And in the calculator, I'm just gonna put 5.5 squared. And 5.5 squared is 30.25. So the area of the base is 30.25 pi. 
So I have what I need to find the volume of the cone. I have area of the base and I have the height. So now let's substitute in. It'll be one third times 30.25 pi times the height of 21. And now in the calculator, I'm just going to multiply the numbers, one third, 30.25 and 21. And then for my final answer, I will stick a pi symbol at the end. So one third times 30.25 times 21. And I get 211.5. Centimeters, oh, don't forget the pi symbol, 211.75 pi centimeters cubed. Okay, let's look at number six. It says a paper water cup is shaped like a cone. It has a height of five inches and a diameter of 3.5 inches. What is the volume of the cone rounded to the nearest hundredth? So I will need to find one third times the area of the base times the height. So we'll find area of the base by doing pi r squared. And then I know the height, they told me the height, it is five inches. So they gave me the diameter, it is 3.5, but to do pi r squared, I need the radius. So let's divide the diameter by two. And 3.5 divided by 2 is 1.75. So to find the area of the base, I'm going to do pi times 1.75 squared. So it'll be 3.14 times 1.75 squared. and I get 9.62. So the area of the base is 9.62. All right, now I have everything I need for the volume formula. I have area of the base and I have the height. So I'm just gonna plug into my formula. It'll be one third times 9.62 times my height of five and one third times 9.62 times five is 16.03 inches cubed.